Hi guys and welcome to an all new video with our long term test car, the 2018 Honda Accord. Three weeks in and the Accord keeps impressing us with neat little tricks it packs up its sleeves. True, and today we're going to be highlighting something truly amazing, Honda Sensing. Should we tell all those watching what Honda Sensing is? Well, I thought about that and I think I'd rather show it to them in action because something as amazing as Honda Sensing at only 122,000 dirhams, which is the price of this car, is simply unheard of. Well, that's true. And so for today's challenge, we'll be heading down Sheikh Zayed Road, one of Dubai's busiest highways with all of the Accord's driving aids enabled and see how many times we need to take over or intervene. So let's decide who drives. Actually, today's a little different. All right. You aren't driving and neither am I. <laughs> Today, the Accord's going to drive us. So let's pick a seat. Yalla, let's go. Okay, to turn on Honda Sensing, you have to make sure that you're in D, so basically you're driving. Obviously. And then you have to make sure that all the sensors are on by pushing this button right there, which shows you the sensor activity on the screen in front of you in the instrument cluster. Okay, but how do all those watching tell the car that they want it to drive itself? Well, that's simple. Four easy steps. First of all, you turn on the system, mm -hmm. and then you set the speed you want to cruise in. 120. I think 100, we don't want a very expensive picture taken. All right, let's set it to 100. Then you turn on the lane mitigation system and you set the distance between you and the car in front of you and voila, the car takes over. All I have to do now is just keep touching the steering wheel slightly every 30 seconds because the car just needs to know that I'm still here. That's great, but before you try that, please do read this. Yes, you should. Okay, but how much distance does it leave between you and the car in front of you? Does it follow that two second rule that we learn about <laughs> when getting a license? You mean that rule that no one follows in the Middle <laughs> East, basically? Well, no, no. The system detects a car as far as 100 meters away and you can set it to a minimum distance of 30 meters. Did you measure that with a measuring tape? Of course I didn't. <laughs> the system shows you the distance in meters on the screen right there. To fully understand and appreciate Honda Sensing, let's start with a bit of history. What is cruise control and when was it invented? Cruise control was first introduced in 1958 on the Chrysler Imperial. And Chrysler thought it was so revolutionary at that time, it called it autopilot. Cruise control became popular because it maintained a constant speed irrespective if you were driving uphill, downhill, or over long distances. But it wasn't perfect. No, it wasn't. For example, it couldn't brake if a car came in front of you. Yes, hence we moved to adaptive cruise control, which was introduced in 1999 by Mercedes-Benz on their S-Class. That's a lot of numbers and facts early in the morning. What did you have for breakfast? An encyclopedia? <laughs> No, maybe just an egg cyclopedia. <laughs> <laughs> so, as you said, traditional cruise control couldn't intervene and slow you down if a car comes up ahead. But with adaptive cruise control, the car actually slowed down and it maintained a safe distance between you and the car in front of you. Of course, by using radars and sensors to pick up that car in front of you. Meaning, adaptive cruise control makes driving a whole lot easier. Drivers don't need to worry about acceleration, they don't need to worry about braking or maintaining a safe distance. All they have to do is keep their hands on the steering wheel and ensure they can keep their car within one lane. Actually, they had to until Mercedes trucks introduced lane departure warning in the year 2000. If you're sitting there questioning what is lane departure alert, it is essentially a system that warns drivers if their car is weaving out of lane with an audible warning or a slight vibration through the steering wheel. And the evolution of that is lane departure assist, which not only warns you, but it actually takes control of the steering wheel and pushes you back into the center of the lane. It sounds intelligent, but I've personally never been a fan of those systems. Me either. And the reason I say that is because 
when you approach the left corner of the lane it pushes you to the right yeah when you approach the right corner of the lane it pushes you back to the left so essentially you just keep driving in the same lane but bouncing from side to side aha uh -huh. and that's why we both love honda sensei yes we do oh, yes Yes, because like us, Honda noticed that the previous system wasn't great. No, it wasn't. So, welcome Lane Keeping Assist. So, Zaran, tell us, what's so special about that? Lane Keeping Assist keeps the car in the center of the lane at all times. How does it do that? With a small camera that is located next to the rear view mirror. No bouncing from left to right or anything like that. And it does that with small adjustments to the steering wheel that you can hardly notice. Not just that, but if there is a small curve in the road, the Accord will take it for you without needing to intervene. And that's what makes Honda Sensing so awesome. So, Honda Sensing is just an umbrella that has all of these system under it working seamlessly together. So you have the adaptive cruise control, the lane keeping assist, and for extra safety, we have a collision mitigation braking system. Which we will not be demonstrating. <laughs> Actually, we shouldn't be demonstrating that. <laughs> but the Accord is still a long way off fully autonomous driving, right? Yes. Although the system is excellent, especially at this price, which is 122,000 dirhams, it cannot do a lot of things. Like, it can't read road signs, so those speed limit signs on the side of the road, it cannot read them. It cannot change lanes for you, it cannot take sharp turns, and it doesn't know when it's approaching a traffic signal. But those are small features that can be added in newer models. I mean, let's not forget how easy Honda Sensing makes driving down highways. How many times have you had to intervene since we started the system? So we have started the system for almost now 40 kilometers. Okay. And other than just reminding the car that I'm still here, just like that, guess what? I intervened zero times. Which means there is good news for you. You can finally talk to your colleagues about something else apart from the Sharjah to Dubai traffic or the Dubai to Abu Dhabi traffic and what a nightmare it is to drive in every morning. And that ends our test for the day. But don't forget, we still have one more full week with the 2018 Honda Accord. And next week, we're going to be talking practicality. Thanks for watching and see you then. See you. Bye-bye. Let me take over. Go. Here we go. <laughs> Turbo, remember? <laughs>